Yeah, um, I mean, that just comes down to, to watching film and doing everything you can to, to understand the game plan, um, you know, throw, do everything that you can during the week, um, and then see where you're at. Uh, I, I know that, you know, the, the game plan is, is complex, but we've done such a great job working through it and talking through it that, um, you know, I, I feel us three quarterbacks are able to pick it up. Yeah, it's doing well, thank you. Do you uh, feel like, do you know if you're going to play Sunday? Um, thankfully, it's only Friday. Uh, you know, I think that's something that we'll continue to do. And, you know, we'll do everything I can on and off the field to, to make sure that, um, you know, I'd, I'd be available. And, and I guess that's something that uh, is yet to be decided. What will go into that decision ultimately on Sunday morning? Just how, how the ankle feels. How much uh, have you been able to participate in practice this week? Obviously, nothing on Wednesday, but Thursday today. Yeah, um, not a ton. Uh, have kind of thrown the ball a little bit. Uh, did some rehab today. Did did everything that I could. Um, but it's just seeing how it feels and continuing to progress from there. What's the, the pain level for you right now? Um, it's not great. You know, it's it is what it is, and it's it's all about getting treatment and, and going in there and, and making sure that it's at its best and doing everything I can to you know limit the swelling, um, limit the pain, and just keep things moving forward. It's just getting better. Yeah, for sure. Every day it's, it's been getting better. It's just, um, you know, getting it to a point where you feel comfortable going out there and, and being able to move. And, and uh, you know, it's a fast game out there and just being able to protect yourself and get around and, and handle all those things. Just, I don't know if you want to share, was it like a high ankle sprain, a regular sprain? Were you told what kind of issue you had? Yeah, as, as far as I know, uh, I was told a high ankle sprain. And then um, just with the tape on it, how has it felt? Obviously, you said you haven't been able to move around that much, but just how has it felt with the with the tape that's been on there the last couple of days as far as the movement? Yeah, um, it, you know, it, it is what it is. It's 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 been uh, it's been tight, but uh, doing everything you can to to limit the swelling and making sure that you feel stable, and especially having the whole ankle stable um, whenever you're put into a cleat or a shoe um, and going out there, and especially playing quarterback, being able to move on your feet, move around, step up, um, do all the things that a quarterback needs to do. Is it your decision, or who's probably decided? I would hope. I would hope it's my decision. <laughs> um, Are they advising you, kind of? You know, we've we've seen you play through things before that we wondered how how did you do that. Yeah, we've well, thankfully we've got a great uh, training staff, coaching staff that you know all work together in such a great way, and they communicate. And you know, I, I think they've always been so understanding and um, you know helpful. And I would never step foot on a field that I didn't feel comfortable playing in and um, you know whether it's been the ribs or whether it's been you know broken fingers um, I felt comfortable and felt ready and prepared to go out there um, and so I know that we'll do the same process and, and we'll see how it plays out. Just what's the collaboration been like in the quarterback's room this week knowing the kind of the up in the air status for Sunday just making sure whoever's out there is ready to go. Yeah, I think that one of the great things that we've done is, you know, those guys prepare like that every week. They prepare like they're going in and, and they're ready at, at any moment. Um, you know, I, I know Stick and Taylor have done such a great job preparing and understanding the offense that if something were to happen, they're both, you know, able to go in there and, and not skip a beat. So to have two guys like that, especially, you know, with the coaching staff that we do as well, um, you know, I, I know that they're very prepared. Justin, is there, is there, go ahead, so because you weren't able to practice, how confident would you be in terms of playing on staff? On Sunday, without any, uh, like, without many practice reps. Yeah, um, I mean that just comes down to, to watching film and doing everything you can to to understand the game plan. Um, you know, throw, do everything that you can during the week, um, and then see where you're at. Uh, I, I know that, you know the the game plan is, is complex, but we've done such a great job working through it and talking through it that um, you know I, I feel us three quarterbacks are able to pick it up. Um, no, it's, it's just, it's just pain. Um, you know, I think it's move, it's movement, whether it's forward, sideways, it's, it is what it is, you know? So, um, I, I wasn't quite familiar with his injury last year. Does it change because of how, just sort of how the offense is played or what might be asked of you, how effective the you run know, how well the, the block is up front, knowing kind of what the game, would, would it be game plan specific, like, hey, this is my pain level, this is what it looks like, so let's try to do, and that matches up with um, or do you want to operate at 100, you know, 100% playbook? 
Yeah, I. That's a good question. You know, I think that's probably a, a better question for Coach Roman and, and Coach Harbaugh, and, and they, and how they feel about the whole situation. Um, if I step foot on the field, I want to feel comfortable and, and know that you know I'm in a, a safe place and understanding that you know there are inherent risks while playing football, uh, but being able to defend yourself, move around, and, and not take unnecessary hits. Um, you know, I, I think as long as I'm able to do to do that, then I think the the game plan is open. Uh, it's the same side as the foot injury you had in training camp. Is that a factor at all in, in you deciding whether or not to play, or is it strictly the, the ankle? No, I th two independent injuries, um, and that one is, has been corrected and fixed. Um, so been good, moved on from that one, and um, two different spots as well. What does treatment or rehab look like for you for the next however many hours you have until? Yeah, it's uh, ice and compression, just making sure I'm off my feet, doing everything I can to, to limit the swelling and um, to ease the pain and, um, you know, whatever it takes to, to, to get to moving, running, um, testing it out and, and making sure that I'm good to go. Did they give you a, did they give you a grade on the sprain? Like uh, A plus? No. B, B plus? <laughs> like a level of grade, grade one, grade two. Grade no, they, they didn't. The levels of severity. They haven't told me that. Do <laughs> <laughs> I have that right? Not, uh, not anatomy, though. Okay. Gotcha. No grade on it. No grade. They haven't given me. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure someone has it. I, w I was never told it. Okay. Is it uh, you've obviously been pretty, you know, super durable over your career. Is it, is it frustrating to get an injury after you kind of just recovered from an injury during training camp? Um, you know, I think injuries are unfortunate part of the game, and you have to do everything you can to limit those as best as you can. You're never going to be able to take them out completely, because you know it's it's a dangerous sport. It's physical and. Um, you know, you, you got to do everything you can to to make sure that you're in a position where you can handle that, keep moving forward, and, um, you know, complaining and, and worrying about it isn't going to help very much. Um, so I think we've got a great training staff um, that has really done a great job so far. So as long as I'm working with them, listening to them, you know, I think I'm, I'm comfortable and in a, a safe position. Talk about how complex this game was when you were here like two weeks ago. What's it been like watching him kind of like try to get up to speed? Yeah, I think it's just, you know, how how special of a, a player he is. You know, he's such a great quarterback, and he's he's had a lot of success in this league, and being able to pick up an offense like that, he's seen a lot of football. And so it's it's a true compliment to him to be able to pick it up like that. And, um, you know, I, I know the guys would rally behind him. They believe in him, and they believe in Stick as well. So whoever it is out there, um, you know, they're going to they're gonna follow him.